Oh, didn't see you there. Just doing some light reading. Jules Verne. Well, I'm Kevin Skirka, one of the executive producers for this little show we like to call 30 in the Banks. And this year we had some really big plans for the show and big plans that turned into some really great sketches. But wouldn't you know it, the hard drive where all that footage was stored blew up about two days before the premiere and we were left to scramble. Luckily, we were able to find some things in what we like to call the RUTV Broadcast Communications Living Learning Community Golden Vault of Gold. So here's the show that we were able to scrounge together. Hope you like it. Captain Nemo, what are you doing now? Oh, hey there. Hey, hey, over here. What's up, Lee? It's Brock. Huh? Brock. Uh, your name is Brock Lee? You got a problem with that? Did somebody say problem? The perfect romance seems like a myth, like something you'd only find in a dream. Everyone wants a happy ending, don't they? But it's still bullshit. But there's hope still alive. Hopefully you'll find someone on damnimdesperate.com. Hi, I'm Mildred from Wyoming, and I'm looking for someone to get involved with. My name's Sequisha. I just couldn't find anyone anywhere else that could provide me with the things I need. I came on DamnMomDesperate.com because I can't find nobody that likes bacon. I like bacon. My mom likes bacon. My brothers like bacon. I live on a bacon farm. My name's Kip Van Dyke. Uh, from Springfield, Nebraska. Probably wonder if it's a guy like me looking for a chick, right? My name is Marge. I'm a proud resident of the sink cabinet thing. It's pretty nifty. I think it's from Ikea. Okay. I, I'm looking for a guy, preferably straight. Ideally one with a nice caboose. One who's smart. Something like that, you know? So I need someone that knows how to do the sign up with me. And you just, you take your hand and you act like you're gonna sign up for something. And it's an awesome dance move. It's like, You can't be no b ass, cause I ain't gonna put up with it. So, uh, I'd like my potential mate to be into politics. I know there's a lot going on with President Clinton. Yeah. Breakfast, lunch, and at least two of the snacks out of the day gotta be bacon. A woman without a mouth. Can you do that for me, damn, I'm desperate.com? Get me a woman without a freaking mouth. You can provide me with big things if you know what I mean. I like bacon flavored perfume, bacon flavored chicken. Leave the arms, cause you know, I need to get fed and stuff. But um, t just take out the mouth. I prefer a crack seller over a, a weed seller, cause they make more money. You gotta drive at least a V6. Someone that uh, I like to cuddle, cause you know, I have a very, I have a very, Cozy abode going on over here. One other thing I gotta throw in there, you gotta be able to take my kids to school. You gotta take LaFonda, Shakisha, Terrell, Darrell, the twins. Now what did you wanna take that home to mom? Our our date could uh start with a swim in the local dumpster. My ideal date is we go out to dinner. I like to eat dinner anywhere, so it's easy. But they must have bacon. Uh, I'd probably take her out to like, you know, my room or something. See how she interacts with like the wall and sh Me to a White Castle. Uh, you gotta at least be able to buy me a crepe case. 
maybe two if you want. Uh, but I ain't sharing, so you gotta buy your own. Guy takes me from, you know, Italian club with all the romance, and maybe we'll go to Are You Breaks, and he'll teach me some, you know, ill moves, and I'll break out the sign up. And then, uh, if you wanna be real romantic, we could go to the Taco Bell and write our names in the bathroom. Running, swimming, eating bacon. Not in that order, because eating bacon is first. We'll meet up on the H bus and have a romantic ride from meeting to meeting. Maybe we'll make it past second base. And if she likes it, she could stay. And you know, maybe she could meet my ma or something. If you would like to know any more about any of these fine individuals, go to www.damnimdesperate.com. Every time he strokes his beard, somewhere a statue of Zeus cries. He is the manliest man in the world. I don't always wear condoms, but when I do, I prefer gents. Stay horny, my friends. What's up, Ben? You got my drugs, man? Oh, man. Yeah, I got your drugs. Hey, Tony, yo, I gotta ask you something. I need a favor from you, bro. For you, Ben, I would do anything. I would marry you. That's good, man, that's good. Uh, see, there's a, a problem with the business, man. Things are just, just, they're just getting dry. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, some guy, Randy, man, he's uh, hooking me up with some guys really high up, man. Damn, Ninja. Yeah. Who is it? I have no clue, man. But... I need a recommendation letter from you. Hey there, cookie. Oh, hi, snail. Please, please don't hurt me. I think we played a pretty good game. Um, I'm not ashamed of the numbers that I had tonight. Uh, you know, 200 points, one assist, and uh, 38 rebounds. Uh, but we didn't get the win, so, you know, I'm just kind of upset my team didn't get the win. But sometimes you win and sometimes you don't. Uh, but there's nothing, um, there's nothing, um, nothing you can do about that. Uh, no, nah, no, nah, no. Nah. I don't think, uh, you know, my hairline had anything to do with it. Um, it is receding. Uh, it's back in Wisconsin. I'm a good player, and uh, Dwayne's a good player, and uh, that other guy's a good player too. But uh, I'm here to play for this Miami Heat organization. And, uh, you know, sometimes you win the games, and sometimes you don't win them. Hey, kids! My name's Larry the Tiger, and I'm from the great country of Africa! I like candy and vans without windows! Remember, kids, don't go places with strangers unless it's me. Rah. Who wrote this f script in this f f Damn it, I need the director here right now. <sighs> Mr. Vachetti, what seems to be the problem? I... I'm Larry the Tiger? My name is Abhishek. I, how am I a Larry? Couldn't have picked anything a little more ethnic than that? 
Are you kidding me? The country of Africa? The country of f***ing Africa? It's not a country. It's a children's show. The people children need to learn. People need to know. Are you kidding me? Do you want to be the tiger? Got my paperwork in check. I'm gonna make some bread. Got all my paperwork in here. Radio, don't let me down. That's right, like my man said, we're playing all your favorite tunes. First up, we got Kiana from Hoboken. Kiana, tell us a little about yourself, baby girl. Hey, my name's Kiana, and I'm 16. I love me some good music to jam into before going to school. Shout out to the 201 area, and I'd just like to request How to Love by Lil Wayne. Yeah, yeah, How to Love by Lil Wayne. How about I play that, like, mm, never. Next request. Wait, what? Such an ass. Hello and welcome to Wake Up Rutgers 4 AM Edition. I am your host, CJ Smith, and I'm joined by my much esteemed co-host, Wasim Rashid Maynoon. Now, Wasim, it's actually time to wake up because we're live. So, actually, uh, you know, I thought about it. Um, a lot of decisions, uh, you know, come up, uh, but uh, this is one of the bigger decisions of my career. Um, we made it to the playoffs. You know, I'm happy about that. But uh, you know, the decision to wear this shirt um, was a pretty good decision. No, I actually uh, don't need to wear the glasses. Uh, they're uh, mainly for style. But uh, yeah, you know, I'll continue to work on my game, uh, work on my hairline because uh, the best players usually have the worst hairlines. Uh, you got a guy like uh, Michael Jordan, whose hairline disappeared after about three years in the league, and uh, so he eventually went bald, became one of the greatest players of all time. Everybody, or just one person. I don't know. This is the way we play. Go Holy shit. Shit. Let's just play blackjack because we know it. All right. <laughs> so All right. Why don't we just double that? True cards. <laughs> just let it go. All right, I'm going to shuffle. All right, Tom. All right, I'm the dealer. You're going to have to relax. Tom, you're up first. Go ahead. Hit me. You have 16. Hit me. You're going to bust. You suck. <laughs> All right, Nick, go. Uh, what do you want? You want to hit? Yeah. You're gonna bust. That's nah, cool. Mm. You suck. <laughs> Ninjas, go. Hit me. Yo, come in. Oh, well, this doesn't count. It's a joke. I know. Okay, let's get started. 
<laughs> oh wait, I need something first. Just give me one second. Okay, how do you want me to start this letter? Well, I was thinking you could highlight my ability with uh, negotiating with different personalities. Okay, interesting. Well, let's just start with the intro. Yeah, that sounds good. Okay, uh, oh, punctual. Punctual. Responsible. Probably the best darn guy I know. Hold up, hold up, wait. Let's put some positive stuff in there. I'm, I'm working on that. Okay. I've been a buyer of Ben's since... How long has it been, man? It's been... Yo, we knew each other, like, since way back in middle school. Bro. Middle school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give some examples. Uh, examples, examples. Ooh, okay. Remember that time we were hanging out by the pool, and we had a deal by the pool, and then I dropped my drugs inside the pool, but then you used your own money to fish the drugs out of the pool? It was, like, free drugs. That you gave me. And I love you for that. <laughs> okay. I can't believe you remember that. Ben song. is a quality thug. How about that one time I was meeting with Kristoff to score some rocks, and I ran into a little trouble with my money because I was using it for yoga class. And then I called you, and you, being the loyal friend that you are, came all the way from the bank that you were at, and you shot him in the kneecaps. Top notch, man. Dude, it's freaking awesome sauce. Put that in there. <laughs> Friendship. Are you kidding me? Do you see the pro- I just want f***ing coffee. That's all I want is coffee. Can we get him a coffee? 21, 21, 21, 21, 21, 21, 21, 21, 21, 21, 21, 21, 21, 21, 21, 21, 21, What are you doing? 21, 21, 21, 21, 21, 21, 21, 21, 21 there's something somewhere 21 there's gotta be 21 21 21 21 21 21 21 21 21 21 21 21 21 21 21 21 21 21 21 21 21 21 21 21 21 21 21 21 21 21 21 21 21 all day. 21. 21. Hey guys, it's your favorite DJ, DJ Talk Too Much, and I know most DJs pick horrible songs, that's why I'm just simply start your morning with some nice music. Now I know you probably like the beat, and if you do awesome, it's by my good friends, LMFAO. Never heard before this a new song, I hope you guys like it. Anyway, back to the song. LMFAO produced this beat, they were in Miami.
they decided to synthesize the sounds of dolphins and incorporate the ambient noise of people what? driving, which seems crazy because it is and you can barely hear it in the song. Oh my god, you talk so much! Connor? Well, I'll tell you what, I don't, Wasim, I don't, I'll tell you what's good, you can't pull off suspenders. You've never been able to. He wears suspenders every week. Every week. Every week. And he can't pull it off. He can't pull it off. Look, he's so mad right now. He's so mad. He's never been able to do it. You, you... I was told that I look good in these suspenders. Hi, I'm Dan Armani, here with Mint Kicking Matt, inventor of mint kicking. How did this all start? Uh, well, they got a bowl of mints at the dining hall, and uh, I just started taking them. One day, I spit it out and tried to kick it. How many mints do you think you've kicked? Uh, I probably kick at least two or three every time I go to the dining hall. Probably kicked over 150 mints, something like that. So what's your technique? Well, you got to suck on it long enough so that the red goes away. Otherwise, you get red all over your shoes. You got to spit it out at the right distance away from your foot. Try to get it right on the tip of your toe. See how high and far you could get it. How high have you got your mints before? I've kicked them on top of McCormick, uh, Winkler, the sweets. You know, I just kick them on top of the roof, and I don't even know how high I could have got it. Maybe like four or five stories. There you have it, folks. <sighs> DJ Farm Animal is in the bar. <laughs> Cyrus Squad is back, y'all! <laughs> DJ White Noise! DJ Mime! Well, that's ironic. You should not have left! You got me? Come on. Come on. Get up on me. Get on me. Get on me. All right. Ready? You got me? You got me? All right. Yeah. Right behind us. It's a drug deal in progress. Can you believe this? Drug dealers selling drugs to students on our campus. Come on. Let me go see if we get some information on this. Oh, there we go. Ready? We got this drug dealer. I'm going to ask him some questions. Can you explain what's going on, you piece of filth? Red bastard. The f oh, I've uh, donated my DNA to a uh, scientist to see if they could clone uh, me, uh, make sure they make them a little less competitive. Uh, it's a great basketball organization, and uh, I enjoy playing for them. All right. Thanks, guys. Why do we even work together? Why do we even work together? I don't no get idea. it. I don't get it. I have no like, idea. Why, you, why have we ever worked at it? You, know you what? called you know me what? to go to we baseball the okay. other day. I don't even like baseball. Ba you, know, you know what? You know what the funny, sick joke is? Nobody likes baseball. Then why did you call me to go to baseball? Liking baseball is like the world's sickest coming of age ceremony. Like in other countries, they they string you up on hooks. In America, you have to pretend like you like baseball for eighty years. How sick is that? <laughs> We got shouts out to father, shouts out to papa. We here in the booth. This is Pappy. Hashtag dad nation. 30 in the banks. Let's do this. Boom. Baby, I got something I need you to know. I want to hold your hand. And if you don't feel the same way, I guess I would understand. else to say so I guess that'll start the chorus I know that we've never spoken a word and I think that's absurd cause I watch you from my second story window every morning as you leave for work I just can't muster up the courage to ask you how your day has been but I know someday 
by will or by force We'll be best friends in holy matrimony Baby, please don't run away I swear to God I'll find you Matrimony. Dad Nation. Coffee, you didn't get it for me. Where is it? I don't get no one any coffee. Do you look like Tony the Tiger? No one gives a about you, Larry the Tiger. I'm gonna make you famous. You know what? This. Send in the replacement. Please, the last radio station. I need something good, please. Hot 97 presents DJ Khaled. What? We no. the best. Who no. the best? No, you're We're not the, the best. best, DJ Khaled. So you're not the best. I had to make a remix for the remix. God, I don't want to hear the remix of the remix again. I call it We the Best Remix <laughs> Remix. I'm so No! <laughs> summer. Noah loved nothing more than the simplicity of life itself. Allie was always into the most recent technology. They met one night on Facebook. Their likes showed they had very little in common. But after checking out Allie's profile, something inside Noah knew that she was the one. No, I want to. I want to. I guess we can go out. It seems like they fell in love, did they? Yes, they did. Do you want to play words with friends sometime? Uh, yeah. I like this story. I think I've seen someone blog it on Tumblr. Allie, this must stop. He's nice, but he's not right for you. You're not allowed to see him again. Not even on Facebook. I'll deactivate your account. From the best-selling iBook. So babe, how about that thing? Comes a fairy tale. It's okay to remember your first love, Allie, but I want you in my life forever. Marry me? About something we hope for. on Instagram. I just wanted to know how you were doing. But wait, what happens? Who does she choose? What we settle for. And who we are meant to be with. Why didn't you email me? I waited for you for seven months. I faxed you a letter a day for seven months. I tweeted her. And she remembers. Narrated by me, Sari. 